You make your own reality. I cannot say this too often. There will be periods where all of your beliefs are at even par, so to speak. They will agree. The ideas may be quite limited. They may be false. They may be based upon premises that are not true. Their vitality and strength, however, will be quite real and seem to bring excellent results. Wealth is everything. Now, this idea is far from a truth. The person who accepts it completely, though, will be wealthy and in excellent health and everything will fit in quite well with his beliefs. Yet, the idea is still a belief about reality. And so there will be invisible gulfs in his experience of which he is ignorant. On the outside, the situation will look most advantageous. And while the person seems quite content, beneath, there will be a gnawing knowledge of incompletion. On the surface, there will be balance. So, as your beliefs change, there will be alterations in your experience and behavior and points of stress, creative stress, while you are learning. Our rich man just mentioned may suddenly realize that his belief is limiting and that he concentrated upon it exclusively so that money and health became his sole aims. The shattered belief may leave him open to illness, which would seem like a negative experience, yet through the illness, he may be led to areas of perception he had earlier denied, and he may be enriched in that particular manner. The shifting of belief may then open him to question his other beliefs, and he realizes that in the area of wealth, for example, he did very well because of his beliefs. But in those others, perhaps deeper experiences opened by his illness, he learns that human experience includes dimensions of reality that had earlier been closed to him, and that these are also easily within his reach and without the illness that originally brought them forth. A new conglomeration of beliefs might emerge. In the meantime, there was stress, but it was creative. Now here is another example. Your conscious thoughts regulate your health. The persistent idea of illness will make you ill. While you believe that you become ill because of viruses, infections, or accidents, then you must go to doctors who operate within that system of belief. And because you believe in their cures, Hopefully, you will be relieved of your difficulty. Because you do not understand that your thoughts create illness, you will continue to undergo it, however, and new symptoms will appear. You will again return to the doctor. When you are in the process of changing beliefs, when you are beginning to realize that your thoughts and feelings cause illness, then for a while, you may not know what to do. In the larger context, you realize that the doctor can at best give you temporary relief. Yet, you may not be completely convinced yet of your own ability to change your thoughts. Or, you may be so cowed by their effectiveness that you are frightened. So, there is a period of stress in between beliefs, so to speak, while you dispense with one set and are learning to use another. But here you become involved with one of the most meaningful aspects of the nature of personal reality as you test your thoughts against what seems to be. There may be a time before you learn how to change your thoughts effectively, but you are engaged in a basic meaningful endeavor. The truth is then that you form your reality directly. You react consciously and unconsciously to your beliefs. You collect from the physical universe and the interior one data that seems to correlate with your beliefs. Believe then that you are a being unlimited by nature, born into flesh to materialize as best you can the great joy and spontaneity of your nature. This marks the end of Seth Speaks. The Nature of Personal Reality. This is Chapter 3, and this was Part 4. Let's talk about it. So, Seth's central message revolves around the idea that individuals shape their reality through their beliefs. 
He emphasizes that while certain beliefs may not necessarily represent truth, they can profoundly impact one's life. For instance, he discusses how an individual wholly embracing the idea of wealth is everything might experience material success and good health. Yet, they may feel an underlying sense of incompleteness. Seth suggests that beliefs are flexible and can change, leading to shifts in experiences and behaviors. He stresses the importance of understanding that thoughts can influence health and that embracing beliefs that empower personal potential can lead to a more fulfilling and authentic life experience. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like, of course, sharing with a friend who might need to hear this and subscribing for more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you won't miss any videos. What did you think about this passage? Are you having any success reshaping or shaping your beliefs to create the reality you truly desire? Leave it in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I am Tony Victory, a wolf uncaged. Thank you.